Hi everybody, it's Nancy Weinbeck, CEO at Bayview, uh, here with another weekly message for you. This time we're going to start with a message from our board chair, Al Levine. Our board is so grateful and appreciative of all the hard work our staff is doing every day. Um, and so we thought we'd like to capture some of that on video so that you all can hear it from the board themselves. So first off, Al Levine, our board chair. Hi, my name is Al Levine. I'm the board chair at Bayview, and I've been on the board about five years, the last two as a chair. I wanted to take a few minutes today and read to you a short message I wrote, expressing how the board feels about the tremendous effort you're each putting in and making Bayview a happy and healthy place for our residents in this unbelievable time. First, thanks to each and every one of you, from the janitorial staff and the kitchen workers, to the accountants and maintenance staff and healthcare specialists. Thank you for your effort, thank you for the results you've been achieving, and thank you for being part of our family. Words alone cannot express our appreciation uh, that the board has for each and every one of you. I've always enjoyed being on the Bayview board because of the sense of community that exists in Bayview between the staff, the residents, and the board members. This sense of community could ne is, has never been more important than it is right now. We each need to be thinking about the person next to us, the person we're working with, the resident we're communicating with. And if we're all thoughtful and decisive in our actions, that'll be better not only for each of us, but for our residents and our greater community. Every day, I realize how fortunate Bayview is to have our staff in place. Uh, my mom is 100 years old. She lives in a building in New Rochelle, New York, in, de in assisted living, and over 11 residents have passed away there from COVID-19. Uh, my aunt is 98 and a half. She actually contracted COVID-19 in another facility in New York City. She's been in and out of the hospital and currently in a rehab center and remarkably it looks like she might make it. The fact that we've had really no cases to date is just uh, not a miracle, but it's an a, a tribute to the efforts of our staff and leadership. And the board is just so appreciative. I wanna make sure you hear that many times. As we all know, we're living in one of the most significant periods in our history. This pandemic will forever change our lives. And let's hope some good things come out of it. One, that we put real value on the efforts of workers in health care, in uh, continuing care communities, in nursing, in food services, who are janitorial, maintenance, people who are providing the basic services we all need uh, to survive. Second, that we recognize we're all in this together. It doesn't matter if you're Bill Gates or Warren Buffett or you're cleaning dishes at Bayview. The virus knows no difference, and everyone can be affected the same way. Again, on behalf of the board and the individuals who voluntarily serve on it, I just want to thank each of you again for the tremendous effort and commitment you've made to Bayview. It's an honor to be able to work with you as a board member. I hope you enjoyed that message from our board chair. We have many more wonderful messages coming your way. Um, so stay tuned. Uh, you'll get to meet all our board members like this, which is really good. Okay, next up. Uh, many of you know that we tested our skilled nursing residents uh, for COVID-19. That was through the Department of Health. They came into the building about a week ago and ran the tests and trained our staff on testing. We've been waiting on pins and needles for the results. When they finally came in, we were a little discouraged, not because the results were positive, but because most of the testing um, was faulty. So three of the 33 tests did come back negative, and that was great. The other 30 tests, uh, the lab said the results were inconclusive. Basically, they didn't have enough sample when they did the testing to have a conclusive result. So we still really don't know um, are our residents negative or positive you know we believe they're negative but um, until we have tests that say they're negative 
we don't know that. So Department of Health is also uh, concerned about this in inconclusive batch. So they are researching on their end what can be done. They're looking at whether these samples can be retested um, or what we can do so we don't have to put our residents through another round of testing. So we're waiting to hear back from Department of Health so we know which way to move forward. In either case, whether the lab can run those samples again or whether we need to retest residents, um, when all of that is done, we most likely will be then testing staff who work in the health center because this is coming now from a directive all the way from the White House and we're, we're learning more about that every day. Um, so when we say staff testing, we're talking about staff that are dedicated to the health center and staff that as part of their job may be coming into the health center on a, on a regular basis. Uh, so if you have no contact with the health center, then you would not be part of that staff testing. So just want to be clear on that. And also to remind you that staff, uh, testing is voluntary. At this point, there are no repercussions from Department of Health or Bayview if you choose not to be tested. And again, as always, if you don't pass the screening, you go home. If you're not feeling well, you stay home and keep yourself safe and keep others safe. So again, when we learn more information, we will definitely be sharing that. And now the last thing is our fun $25 giveaway. So let's see who our two winners are this week. Clicking on this button. And who's it gonna be? Wilhelmina Gibbons. Congratulations, you're our $25 winner. And our second winner is, here we go, pick a random name. Belinus. Oh, Bella, <laughs> Bella Gebre, thank you. We are so excited. We've got two fabulous winners this week and um, we will get the winning money to you uh, next week. And then we look forward to seeing who our winners are in next week's drawing. Thanks, everybody. Have a great weekend.